Hello, this is Dave with Mountain Maple. Um, this is just a quick demonstration of a of a system that I have set set up behind my house. Um, you can see the uh, smart sap sucker controller right here, um, and uh, you see something a little bit different. If you look closely, um, you'll see on the uh, bottom line periodically it says next transfer or next exfer. Um, and it has a time. So in this case it's saying um, two minutes. So this is a unit that's set up to do the um, the sap transfer. So what I have, I'll just show you the overall unit. I have, um, this is the SureFlow pump. Um, I have a um, manifold here. We've got our um, electric bypass valve. Um, this is my sap inlet here. I've got a, um, a star fitting. You can see the, uh, the sap coming in pretty good. Um, the sap's running today. Um, this right here is my, my vacuum sense. Now the thing that's different about this, you see this um, orange sea flow pump. This is my, uh, my transfer pump. So the transfer pump is, uh, is plumbed over to my barrel. This is a 55 gallon drum and I have the um, there's three lines going into it one is the pumped line one is the bypass line and the other line um, is this uh, transfer line is coming out of it it's going uh, through a through a strainer this is a 5.5 gallon per minute sea uh, flow pump um, you can see it coming into this T here from the T we have a, uh, a black line the black line is going all the way up to the hill all the way up the top of the hill to my sugar house is about 450 feet of line. Um, I also have, let's see, you can't really see it too well. Um, somewhere in the distance there, right above that branch, you can see I have a solar panel, 100 watt solar panel um, that's, that's charging the battery and it's doing a pretty good job. I, I was seeing about 14 volts this morning. So um, what we're gonna have is, um, this is really kind of a, a rough setup unit here. Um, I have it. I have the entire unit mounted onto a pallet that's strapped to a tree, and I've got a covering here. Uh, seems to be working out pretty well. Um, this is my kind of my first prototype unit for the uh, vacuum transfer pump. But you can see something happening right now. The transfer pump has just started. Okay, you hear it running. So what it's doing now is it's it's pumping sap up through this uh, through the T there and up to my sugar house. And um, I'm going to check it in a in a few minutes to make sure it makes it. Um, this T is coming down to this um, solenoid valve here. And the solenoid valve is uh, is shut right now. Um, you can see. If you look closely, here's the um, here's the line coming out of it, um, and the sap is still. And um, you you can actually see some sap dripping out of the pump, and hear it running. So um, what it's doing is it's taking. Um, I, I have it programmed every four hours. The pump will run for about ten minutes. This is all programmable, and uh, we're going to take a look inside the barrel here. Um, hopefully you can see this. Well, you can see the sap coming in here. Um, this is just a 5 16 line from the barrel. The uh, transfer line I, is, uh, is weighted and sitting at the bottom of the barrel. Um, I actually used a, um, an old um, stainless steel um, valve that I wasn't using anymore um, for weighting. So, um, we're we're gonna see how this works out. Um, we're gonna if we look at the uh, if we look at the display, um, we've got the normal runtime. The pump is only drawing eight tenths of an amp. It says it's transferring sap. And uh, if you look closely, there's a um, a yellow LED in the middle here, and this LED is blinking as I'm transferring sap. Um, if it's if it's a solid color, that means that means that the uh, 
the drain valve is open. Right now the drain valve is closed and getting dripped on a little bit. So we're going to see what happens. This, this is, uh, I haven't figured out how to pause this video, but hopefully I, I, um, I, I can post one in about five minutes when I uh, go up, make my way up to the sugar house and, and see if the sap has made it. My biggest fear is that there's a uh, break in the line or something, but uh, so far so good. So uh, this is a uh, this transfer feature. Um, I, I have one customer using it in uh, West Virginia right now, and um, this is going to be an offering for for next year. Just kind of working some of the bugs out. Um, so just another look at it. You see the sap's coming in pretty good. I'm seeing um, 25 inches of vacuum at the pump. Um, I just had an issue, um, which is kind of common in uh, maple set maple uh, line setups. My um, lines, by the way, they're they're all 3 16 um, Here's the uh, longest one. Winds its way through the woods. This has about 35 taps on it or so. Um, so the biggest thing, as you may know, with 3 16 is, um, is getting it leak free. And I had a uh, I had a tree at the end of the line that had some squirrel chews on it. Um, and I, I fixed one of them and I, I was only seeing about 14 inches and it was I was seeing a fluctuating vacuum level um, and I said oh, there must be another leak and sure enough there was another one and I fixed that and was doing the same thing and I says there must be another leak and sure enough I found a third one um, and right now I'm running a steady um, 25 inches of vacuum with uh, about 40 taps combined so um, Anyways, that's it uh, in a nutshell. Thank you for watching.